this episode I'm about to review Waterworks by Uday Jaguar. I've had a few of his prior products before and I've not been impressed with any of them. And I'm not impressed with this. This is awful. But let me explain why. Okay. Um, essentially it says £20 on the box. Originally I believe it was £28 and I bought it for a tenner. Brand new from the dealer. That tells me, if you, that should tell you a few things. It comes with a bottle to do the trick with, however, it doesn't work. <laughs> the product, the gimmick, apparently does work, but there was a manufacturing defect with the bottle supplier, and so now, without giving too much away, the gimmick that does the job can sometimes get stuck to the top. And so basically, if you buy this product, you may need to go find another bottle that fits the gimmick. The, it comes with a DVD which has been, you know, produced by Paul Harris, pressed, proper disc. But to be honest, the Paul Harris logo has diminished in value so much that, you know, don't believe anything they say anymore. <laughs> it used to be a best of all, no, 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 anyway, hey, moving on. Um, it does come with, I don't know, some paper instructions. I think this is probably oh, how to fix the broken gimmick. And I'm not going to show you what the gimmick is. But you get the little, let me try to do this properly, you get two little blue balls and um, a bottle top for the bottle. There is more to this part, but that's what you have to buy the product for. Now, for a TV special, if you were to you know, be able to retake time and time again, this is a good trick. It is possible to push the pencils or small blue balls into the bottle and make it you know, suspend to the top. But in the real world, which is what this show is about, you basically, with this bottle which it came with, and I have to review it with what it came with, the, the second time I used it, no, well, let's say, the first time I used it, water was dripping from the bottle, and they were going on in the DVD to say that, well, that makes it look more authentic. No, it meant I got soaked, because it doesn't matter if it's dropping one drop at a time, it's still dropping liquid on a floor which someone's going to slip on and then sue me over. So for the real world, it was like, okay, that's a problem. The second time I did the trick, the gimmick got stuck. And that's basically when I gave up with this, you know, even testing it. Because it, I then had to, I had to email the guy and learn about how to get it out um, and then dry it out so I can sell the thing on eBay next week. So, yeah, quite frankly, it, it disappointed me. Uh, I was hoping this would be a good version of the trick because what it essentially is, is a suspended liquid trick where you pour liquid into the bottle or, and then turn it upside down, remove your hand or whatever you got there, and the water stays inside the bottle, and then you push things inside, okay? And it can do that. Fair enough, it can do that. The problem is when you want to, you know, turn the bottle around and then pour the liquid out. And that's the problem, it's a little bit edgy on. I guess if you found the right bottle, then I presume, according to the threads online, the trick will work and do what it's supposed to do. But for me personally, I have, the, the putting the blue balls in was, didn't really do much. Putting a pencil in would be better, but without giving too much away, the gimmick that enables you to push a larger object inside also allowed it to drip. And the dripping was too much for my liking. So I, if I want to perform this version of the trick, I would rather buy the old Hokey po Hocus Pocus gimmicks, which were six for a pound when I was buying them. I don't do the trick anymore. And I actually have a series out called Magic School, and I have a version of the suspended liquid trick, exactly the same trick, but it's done with sellotape. So no gimmicks whatsoever. And that has the added advantage of ditching all the puddles. That's up to you if you want to watch that, but I'll let you know that, that there is an alternative method I have in my own series. But no, I cannot give this uh, anything above I've got to give it 60% because the trick does do what it wants, what it says it can do once at least. And if you can retake or redo things, you're not going to have any problems whatsoever. But because of its essentially manufacturing gimmicks, maybe, maybe they've got quality control issues, 
60% is all I can give it at this time. It is not the solution to the old trick that we were looking for. We're still on the hunt for that, the, that solution. If anything, my sellotape method is the best I've seen so far, and that's just, you can have that for free. <laughs> anyway, there we go. I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the review.